Good morning to you all. I think it's time to get started. Uh, it's always good to start at the right time and so that we can, you know, stick to the uh, day's schedule very well. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm not a strange face to many of you, but uh, uh, by the way, my name is Ravi, Ravi Kulkarni. I'm the coordinator for the Poultry Health Research Network. And on behalf of the network, I'd like to welcome you all to our uh, third uh, research annual day. Um, I mean, um, I, I, I've been doing this, you know, two times for sure. And uh, we, we are going to have, uh, you know, very good crowd today. And particularly, like, you know, I was taking a look at the list of participants. We have a very good blend of people coming from academia, industry, and the government. So I'm pretty sure uh, we have the panel discussion in the afternoon, and we're going to learn quite a few things, and uh, it's going to be a very productive thing. So uh, just a quick note about the washrooms. So if we go straight ahead, take a few steps around the corner, we have the washrooms. Men's washroom for sure, I think the women's washroom is also around the corner. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't check that, I know needed one. <laughs> that, that, that reminds me that, uh, you know, my, my dad, my father back in India, who's a retired professor of English, he often tells me, look son, the day you accidentally enter a women's washroom, it is an indication that you are getting old. <laughs> so far, so good for me, but I have seen few entering doing that. Uh, so, uh, as you have seen the agenda, uh, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for me also to welcome our keynote speakers, Dr. Billy Hargis from University of Arkansas, uh, Dr. Martin Bullien from University of Montreal, and our own uh, Dr. Scott McKeown from the University of Guelph. And if you look at the agenda, we have uh, student presentations. They are pretty brief five minutes each, and we'll try to learn a crispy, in a crispy manner what they've been doing. And that would be uh, followed by you know, our uh, keynote speakers addressing uh, different areas of you know, poultry disciplines focused on the theme of the day, which is antimicrobial stewardship in poultry production. And followed by, we'll have lunch, uh, joined by our uh, uh, member of parliament, uh, Mr. Lloyd Longfield, and also our Vice President Research, Dr. Campbell. And then we'll have a panel discussion. In the agenda, you can see we have a brilliant panel with you know, experts coming from various fields, walks of life in poultry area, uh, whether it is the universities or uh, you know, the industry or the government. Uh, so, that takes me to uh, convey many, many thanks to our sponsors for the day. Uh, the Catalyst Center, Gregor Lawson, thank you very much, he's there. Um, and Omefra, uh, Dr. Eva Naj, thank you very much, Omefra, for the sponsorship. And uh, the Egg Farmers of Ontario, uh, I think Mr. Harry, Harry Pelissero is here, thank you very much, Harry. Jeffo Nutrition, uh, represented by Kathleen. Kathleen Sari is somewhere around here. Thanks very much, Kathleen. And um, so, uh, the delicious lunch uh, today, uh, the chicken meat, the chicken that we're gonna have is a kind donation from uh, Yorkshire Valley Farms. I really thank them for this you know, uh, generous donation. Uh, I think Diane, Diane Richard is somewhere right here. So, uh, with that, like, you know, I have many people to thank also who have been, like, you know, very helpful in putting things together without whose help, uh, starting with Karen Mantle, uh, uh, Jane Dawkins and Kevin Hogg from OVC, from the Department of Pathobiology, Natalie, uh, Marnie Strike, Leah Reed, Jake, Alex, and Ayumi, who have been, like, you know, very helpful in putting the things together. And at a personal level, uh, my very sincere thanks to Dr. Shah and Sharif, who is leading the network, who has given me a very good free hand to put the things together, and then that's been working very well. So with that, we'll move on to our uh, next, uh, you know, um, the Poultry Health Research Network update by Dr. Shah and Sharif.
So thank you very much, Ravi. So Ravi was talking about, you know, when you get old and you get, you know, uh, yourself into a lot of trouble. I'm also getting old, apparently, because I thought that I printed out, you know, my, my notes, but I forgot my notes, you know, at home. So that's definitely a good sign of, you know, uh, shrinkage, a major shrinkage in my brain. But anyways, just wanted to tell you that um, it's at my absolute pleasure and privilege to be here standing in front of you, opening the third PHRN Research Day. Uh, last year, pro many of you were here, and I'm sure that you witnessed the fact that it was a very good mix of academia and industry last year. And um, I think we did a little bit of a speed dating between industry people and uh, academic people, such that they, we can spark some relationships you know, between industry and academic people. This time, we decided to make some changes to uh, the format of our PHR and research day. And the focus of today, as Ravi alluded to, is going to be on antimicrobial stewardship in poultry production. This is really coming at the most opportune time in the history of, I think, you know, poultry, modern poultry production. The reason behind it is the fact that governments at the three levels of provincial, territorial, and federal levels have all come together and they're, they're in the process of crafting the so-called the pan-Canadian framework, and, I, and I'm kind of actually preaching to the choir because many of you who are sitting in the audience, I know you've been crafting that document, so you know better than I do what that document actually looks like and what that would bring you know, to livestock production, specifically to poultry production. So as a result of that, we decided that this year it would be wonderful if we can talk about antimicrobial stewardship and make it as, as, as open as possible in terms of you know, exchange of ideas and interacting, interactions between government, industry, and academic uh, researchers that are present here. And that basically constitutes the, the panel uh, in the afternoon. And it's going to be an opportunity for all of us to be engaged and involved in identifying some of the knowledge gaps, research gaps, and also trying to come up with plans for the future. And I'll tell you a little bit more about some of those plans that we are trying to brew up here in Guelph and across uh, the nation. In regard to the PHRN, because I'm supposed to give you a brief overview of what has been happening, uh, I'm delighted to tell you that over the last year we have hosted a constant stream of speakers uh, who presented their uh, uh, research and also their experience in a wide variety of different contexts of poultry health and poultry production in, uh, within the framework of our PHRN seminar series. We've been trying to do webinars, and in some cases we've been more successful, and in some cases we've been less successful in uh, creating those webinars, but we are doing our best to make sure that people can log into the system and can benefit, even you know, from long distances, benefit from uh, what those speakers have to say. Uh, and I'm also very pleased to tell you that one of our speakers have actually been able to surpass my wildest dreams of number of views on the YouTube. And Suresh, don't go down, because that gentleman sitting right over there, he's been able to garner approximately 16,000 views on the YouTube clip that we posted of his seminar. I'm not quite sure you know how he managed to do that, but my kudos to you, Suresh. So, what I'm really telling you is that you know, now we are able to penetrate not you know, in the po Canadian poultry industry, but also the global poultry industry. I presume that many of those people who were watching him were probably not in Canada, because I don't really think that we have 16,000 poultry producers actively watching our videos. So that basically tells you that we are definitely making a difference. And more recently, with the support of the OVC Dean, uh, Dr. Jeff Wichtel, who's going to be joining us uh, during lunchtime, and the university, we've uh, recently embarked on a fundraising campaign in support of the PHRN and in support of a chair associated with PHRN, a chair in poultry health, and also an early career faculty that we are trying to raise funding in order to support those two positions. The reality is that succession planning is becoming of utmost importance to universities and I presume to industries as well. And that's one of the main reasons that we wanted to embark upon this fundraising campaign in order to um, ensure that uh, there is some level of succession plan for poultry health research and poultry research in general in, in, in Guelph. Uh, Ravi did acknowledge uh, the generous sponsorship of our, our partners, 
but I would like to do that one more time. Uh, I'd like to uh, sincerely acknowledge the sponsorship of the following. Uh, first of all, first and foremost, uh, we've received a donation from the Parks family, which has really led us to uh, come to uh, this research day today. Uh, also, we've received sponsorship from the Catholic Center of the University of Guelph, JEFO, Egg Farmers of Ontario, Yorkshire uh, Valley Farms. Thank you, Diane. And uh, we've also received sponsorship from the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs and the University of Guelph Partnership. So without further ado, I'm going to ask my colleague, Dr. Evanaj, to say a few words about poultry research in general within the context of the OMAFRA University of Guelph Partnership. So talking about, good morning everyone, and welcome to the Poultry Health Research uh, Network and OMAFRA Research Day. Uh, talking about aging, I really have my uh, printed notes out here. And since uh, Ravi gave me only five minutes, uh, and they are keeping the time, I better stick to my note. So it's great to see uh, this high turnout, and importantly, in addition to researchers, uh, graduate student, postdoctoral fellows, and staff members, we have representatives from the industry, government, university administration, or we will have them, and uh, keynote speakers uh, on today's special topic on antimicrobial stewardship in poultry production. Thank you all for coming and attending today's meeting. Poultry is a key sector of Ontario's agriculture, and because of the increasing demand on poultry meat, egg, and poultry products, it is more likely that we will have new issues, problems in the future. For example, the constant threat, threat of avian influenza, new housing system requirement, the question about antibiotic use or not use, and we want to be proactive and certainly be prepared for the challenges ahead of us. Poultry research was, is, and it's going to be a very strong at the University of Guelph. Our researchers are known nationally and highly res respected internationally. Scientists are at different departments of different colleges, and there are close to 100 graduate student postdocs uh, working on poultry research. OMAFRA invests heavily in poultry research, and we are thankful uh, for that. However, we would like to see even more research money or dollars committed to our endeavors. In addition to the operating funds available in the production system, emergency management, new initiatives, and so on, um, uh, the graduate student fellowships are also very important and that's important in training and the education of HQP. Uh, the ARCA research station and isolation facility provide a unique and much needed infrastructure for our research. Recently, new isolators, Horsford unit, were installed on campus, and there will be a new addition to the isolation facility on campus. There were new cages installed, upgrades were initiated, as well as the ARCA station, mainly to accommodate and support the animal welfare and lighting studies. I want to thank everybody for their hard work and contribution to the world-class poultry research at the University of Guelph. Today is an excellent KTT venue. I encourage you to take advantage of the diverse audience the participants and to network and make connections and meet new and old friends. That was a great opportunity just this morning for me. I'm sure we will all have an exciting and productive day and enjoy and participate fully in this really well-organized meeting. Thank you, Ravel, for organizing it. Okay. Should I use up my time? Yes. That was a